Step man. Pow. Any kind of yogurt you want, guys, I just have. Pow! One, two, three. Yeah. Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Chef Patrick. As, as he said, I work with the food service district. How many of you guys have seen me in the line? Some, yep, I, I, I'm basically just want to make sure you guys are happy, you guys are eating well. And as you can see in front of you, I passed out a recipe card. Some of you may not have it now, you will. And this is a smoothie recipe that I'm going to be demonstrating and then afterwards we're going to taste it to see what you guys think of it. But before we do that, how many of you guys by show of hands like fruits and vegetables? Okay, good, me too. Some of you didn't, maybe after this you'll like them. So I have a little story I'm going to tell you guys. You want a smoothie so you want it to taste like... Kids should learn how to eat healthy when they're young because as everyone knows there's a problem with obesity and uh, child obesity, this heart disease, all kinds of problems that are happening younger and younger in, in adults and children. And I think, me personally, I need to do something to change that, to change the trend. I think it's everyone's problem and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing because I want everyone to get involved from the parents to the teachers to the students. And I think if I do my part and I can affect just a few people, I think I did my job. What other duties I have for Airmark is I go around to the cafeterias throughout the district, make sure operations are running smoothly, make sure the employees are good, make sure the faculty, the principals are happy, and to maintain the operations. So, that's the sole purpose of Super Antioxidant Man. Pow! Okay? Cool story? So now you know one more reason to eat fruits and vegetables, right? Yeah. Okay, who wants to see a little demo? Yeah, kind of. Who wants to taste smoothies? Okay, that's what I thought. All right. So this is real easy. How many of you guys make smoothies at home? A lot of you. Good. Two bananas. There you go. Just go ahead and read them off to me then. That's that's one half, one half cup. Okay, look at that. And why are we using frozen? Because you know, so you keep the freshness. Because you keep the freshness, and instead of using ice, it's frozen, right? So then, what do we do? What is that? What's next? Ten to twelve. Ten to twelve strawberries, right? I got that. What else? Yogurt, how many like yogurt? Good. Good. You can use any kind of yogurt you want, guys. I just have regular yogurt. You can use strawberry yogurt, blueberry yogurt, anything. Then what else? What do I put in next? Apple juice. How many like apple juice? Okay. Remember, you guys can do, this is a basic recipe. You can use whatever you want. Peaches, right? How many like mangoes? Good. Okay. We're going to put the top on it. This is going to make a noise, right? So when this makes a noise, we're going to make a noise. What are we going to do? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's a good one. Ready? One, yeah. two, three. Yeah. Okay, let's try it again. I'm going to start it up again. We're going to make a noise. As soon as I shut it off, we're going to silence. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, good. So, there it is. Looks good, right? Let's eat. Pick a real hard one for him. Oh, there's a couple for you, Chef Patrick. Yes. Any other questions? Yes. I can taste the banana. Yes. The question was, can you put vegetables in it? Yes, you can. If you like vegetables, you, can, you guys, you can put anything you want into this. As long as it's what? All right, cool. So, any other questions? Yes. Yes, I love bananas. How long was culinary school? Okay, how long was culinary school? Actually, 
I actually went to two culinary schools. I went to the Texas Culinary Academy in Austin, and I also went to Johnson Wells University in Rhode Island. Have you guys ever heard of Emerald Lagasse? No. That guy that goes, BAM! Yeah. That guy? That's, I went to that school. And just think of it like this, guys. When you make a smoothie, the colors you add into it are going to get all mixed up, and that's the color you're going to have. So bananas are kind of white, right? So if you take out that whiteness, it's going to be darker, right? Okay? Yes? Have I ever tried to be on Iron Chef America? No. But let's go. Let's go, Bobby. The, the food service and the cafeterias are an extension of the school. They're one team. And I think if one person promotes healthy eating and healthy living, they all have to promote it just as much and just as long and, and have the same amount of passion about it. So, and especially the cafeteria, they're the ones giving the children maybe two meals a day, breakfast and lunch, so they should be the ones to feed the kids healthy meals okay, as well as talk to them and talk to the parents as they come through the line and the teachers throughout the course of the day so everybody's on the same page. Good. How many of you guys put ice in your smoothie? Okay.